Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's have a look at using some of the menu uh, things here. And we're going to do here File and New, which is going to bring up a new document or image or whatever. So what have we got here? It looks like quite a lot, but actually a lot of it is trying to be helpful here. So at the top here, this if you select things here, it's going to set up the stuff below. So a lot of the time, if you just set this, all this is going to be whatever you need. So, for example, print here is setting up a uh, a print uh, thing. So it uses print sizes, all the A sizes, letter, and so on, and the document units. The color setup here is typically it's often RGB8, which is a very common one that's used for um, images, but doesn't have to be. If you click on that, um, eight covers eight-bit devices like screens and so on. The 16-bit, um, that will let you uh, work with things like uh, raw files from cameras, which is typically 12 or 14-bit. And even 32-bit, which is HDR stuff, and that's all super bazillions of colors. Then you've got 8 and 13-bit for gray, for just grayscale. And then you've got CMYK, um, and which is just 8-bit and lab which is 16-bit which is a an obscure format but is popular in some quarters with each of these whenever you click on this you then got a whole bunch of color profiles the color profile basically sits between the if you like the file and the screen and it translates one thing to another so typically um, it goes between the file and whatever's being shown or printed and you can set those up in certain ways. If in doubt, just leave it at the default. That's the simple thing. Um, the transparent background here, if you check that, then the background will appear on the first thing as in this grey uh, and white checkerboard, which shows that it's effectively there's nothing there. If you turn it off, you get a white background, but this is sort of like a virtual layer. It's not really there. Then you've got dimensions here. Um, the dimensions are set up here. If you want to change those, you can just change them from here. So, for example, this is page height, width and height for A4 with a dot per inch of 300, typical for many printers. And the portrait there, check that off. You've got landscapes. You can see that just switches those over. And if you change the this up here, if you want to see how many pixels are there, change that there to pixels. And here you go, those are the actual pixels you'll get on the that new image. Um, so it's just a matter of what's showing it here. Notice in here, by the way, you've even got things like feet and yards. Just strange, but there you go. Um, this include margins is, is interesting too. If I check, turn that off, yeah, don't bother margins here, you have extra margins. And the margins here, this is for when you're printing in particular, where the printer cannot print at the edges of the pages or the top and the bottom. Notice here you've got four, 325s and 30 at the bottom. That's if you're like feeding the paper around a roller or something or just trying, trying to push it out. So it needs a little bit of extra space at the bottom to be able to just push the paper out of the printer when you're finished. Retrieve Martin margins from printers if your printer is set up with a set of margins. If you click on that, there you go. See it changes that to whatever your printer can do to stop it. Uh, from going too far altogether. So if I click OK there, here you see I've got the, that 4.2 margin there. What it also lets me do is if I go to File, Place, and I take a document here, I can drag this document out and it'll fit. It'll snap to those things there. You can snap it to the middle as long as you've got the snapping set up here. And that will fit it within that print margin. But also means it's useful if you're going to crop it afterwards. So you can set it to whatever you want. So it's useful, for example, in mounting print portraits and so on. So um, that's pretty much it on there. Oh, the one more thing here, by the way. Um, if you change things on this, so you, you know, change that, say, the pixels there or whatever. If I click on this here, I can create a preset. And if I call that, say, Fred. Now what it comes to here is when I click on the type here, 
At the bottom of all this, I can have print for photo for web and so on, this preset. So when you go to that, here's your page preset. And you can then set, select those. You can set up your own setups quite easily. If you don't like it, you can click on that again and delete the printer preset and say yes. And there you go. It's OK. Uh, and if you want to change any of these later, once you've made this document, you can go to the document here and number these change. So you can change that format. You can change the size of it. And here's where you change the transparent background. So if I click on that, here it's transparent, black and white. Click on what that there, it's white, but there's not yet a layer. So once you want to start doing something here, you've got to do an add layer or import something. There you go, and thank you very much for watching.